the single best organizer I've ever met in this business, with the single exception of Norma Fanny but Norma <laughs> is now in Florida, happily retired. And second, you have to be a good diplomat, because you know what, there are, I know this will come as a great shock to all of you, but you know what, there are a lot of egos. <laughs> And there are a lot of egos among those folks who run for public office and who serve in public office. And so in this job, you have to get all of them to work together happily, or at least as happily as possible. And so you have to have somewhat of a skill in trying to get that to happen without get, getting everybody angry at each other, uh, or at least trying to uh, keep people uh, on the same track as much of the time as possible, and uh, try to stay focused on the objective, which is what? To elect Democrats to office, right? right. And uh, I don't know of anybody who is a nicer guy or a nicer person than John Walsh of Abington, right? He just right. a nicer guy. about John Walsh, and he's just a nice person. So that is important, I think, in this job. And I think it will serve him very, very well as chairman of this, of this party. Third is you have to be a good fundraiser. John hasn't been in his career a fundraiser, but guess what? He has to bow. <laughs> we now have the corner office. We have the governor's chair. <laughs> and we have Senator Kennedy. And we have the congressional delegation. And I dare say that a year and a half from now, John's going to be a pretty experienced fundraiser. And he already. I've been amazed, you know, he's now, I, I said to him, you know, well, the, the Roosevelt dinner is yours, pal. <laughs> when he became uh, deputy president of the party, remember that when he said that, that he would take over the Roosevelt dinner? This is, with the exception of last year's, remember when we raised that ton of money with Alan Solomon and Steve Grossman and everybody? This is going to be the single most successful Roosevelt dinner in the history of the Democratic Party. And last, but by no means least, is something that, that I always feel most strongly about, and I always remember something that, that I would just commend to all of you to remember something that Bill Clinton said when, when he was up, when he had his first Supreme Court appointment up, you know, he had his first Supreme Court appointment open. The reporter said to him, what is it that you're going to be looking for in that person? And he said, well, you know, he said, of course I want a very smart person, and I want somebody who's a really good constitutional lawyer, somebody who knows the law, somebody who's experienced in the law. But the single most important thing that I'm going to be looking for in the Supreme Court justice that I'm going to be appointing is somebody with a good heart. And you know, I, I was so struck by that. And, and I said, see, that's so important. And I, and I said, you know, when I think about the people that I look for, support for president or for governor, or for Congress, or for the legislature, is I always look for that special dimension, that extra dimension, that special something. And I never was able to exactly put my finger on what it was. And Clinton articulated it for me. Good heart. He's got it. John Walsh has it.
So he's got those four qualities that's going to make him a great champion of this party. And we're, we've, we've had a great run here. I've had a great run with all of you. It's been a great six and a half years. But he's going to bring it to the next level with Deval and with all of you. And I'm still going to be around, I hope. And Sue's going to be around. But we're going to have another great run here.